Gasparilla celebration shifts to Ybor City this weekend with tomorrow's crew of Santiago Night Parade. The event follows a shooting incident in Ybor last October that left two people dead and 16 injured. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us how Tampa police plan to keep everyone safe. The police chief's message is simple. They will be out here in big numbers this weekend to keep everyone safe. <laughs> Tens of thousands of people are expected to crowd Ybor City this weekend for the crew of Sayago Night Parade. Beads, floats, and fun are usually part of the celebration. However, this year, Tampa police say expect to see more officers in the crowd. We will not tolerate anybody bringing any type of disturbance to this parade or any event down here. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkall held a press conference to spread the word. They are beefing up their presence at the parade and beyond. We will be in the land, on bike, we will be on horseback, we will be in car, we will be on foot patrol, and we will be in the air. We'll even have officers out there that you won't see. The heightened patrols come on the heels of a shooting spree in Ybor City during a Halloween celebration last October. Oh, oh, what a woman. Hundreds dressed in costume ran for cover during a shooting that left two dead and injured over a dozen others. Ebor's image also took a hit, many feeling the area just isn't safe. But Chief Burkall pushed back on that. I'll tell you from what I've seen in my own eyes is that the crowds are back. The dinner hour is as busier as I've ever seen. So we're expecting big crowds. You saw some of the other parades and uh, we're going to be out here in full force. So we, we encourage everybody to come out and have a great time. The police chief says they will be having agencies from other areas coming in to patrol as well, including the DUI unit. In Ebor, Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News.